to be directing your attention June 16, 2006. Did you go to Barry's Tavern? Yes. Do you recall approximately what time we got there? Yes. I would say 9.15, between 9 and 9.15. Hey, what's your choice of cocktail? I drink uh, draft. They have another light there. Is that what you drank? Yes. Okay, so you drank Miller Lite. Throughout the course of the evening, could you estimate how many Miller Lights you believe you consumed? Five to seven, uh, nine or ten ounce glasses of Miller Lite drink. Were you drunk? No. I was walking down the block and I saw a young fellow on top of a car carrying on. He was moving around the top of the car and yelling at a girl. I told the young man that uh, he should get off the, car, the roof of the car and stop yelling because Bradley Beach cops will probably be here soon and they don't play around. But you tell them the cops are going to come and the cops come? Yes. Okay. What happens when the police come? Uh, well, one officer that I noticed, I guess he was the one close to me, got out of the car and uh, he was very, uh, seemed very angry. Very aggressive. Well, what did he do? Uh, he was, uh, to me, it seemed like he was. Just tell me what he did. He was yelling. He appeared to be yelling at the young lady. Okay. Uh, what did you tell him? I just told him that the young lady you know, did not uh, do anything wrong. Uh, that, uh, you know, it was a, the situation's done, it's over, and uh, she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Well, what did he say? He said something to the effect of uh, keep going, move on. Get out of here. All right. What did you do? All I did was uh, I said, well, I just want you to know, and I was, I was pointing at the young lady. Uh, this, this young lady didn't do anything wrong. Okay. As you're pointing to the young lady. Okay. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. As you're pointing to the young lady, what happens? Uh, he says, uh, don't point, don't point at me. He said, I'm not pointing at you. I just want you to know this lady. He then grabbed my, my finger and my, and my hand. Okay. The right hand, and he said, and, he, and what I did was I pulled my hand and finger away from him. Okay. That was it. He didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. He then said, when I pulled my hand away from him, he said, that's it. And he grabbed my uh, right arm, put it behind my back. Now they depict your hand, is that correct? Yes. And they depict cuts on your hand, is that correct? Yeah, there's cuts. That's my left hand. There's cuts on my left hand. Okay. I broke my form. So now you're on the ground. What happens as you're on the ground? Uh, immediately thereafter, uh, one officer was on my neck. Uh, what do you mean he was on your neck? He was, I mean, I couldn't see, but I could feel somebody kneeling on my, on my neck. There was another officer, I would say, on my lower back, butt area, and I was putting my hands my, I was trying to get my hands behind my back so they could be cuffed because I knew what they were up to. And I was telling you, because uh, I was telling you, I'm not resisting, I'm complying. I'm not resisting, I'm complying. That's all I was doing. I was trying to get my hands behind my back so they could cuff me. Well, let me ask you this. Were you fighting with them? Not at all. Did you take a stance and make a fist and go after them? Absolutely not. The guy on top of my, he's kneeling on top of my neck. And I felt his hand, he was shoving my face into the pavement. Uh, and I would have to like lift my head up to avoid getting my face washed. But I had glasses, they cost me four or five hundred bucks a day or two earlier, I just got them. Okay. And the glasses were kind of hanging off my face between my face and the pavement. My face is getting washed and my glasses are getting crushed. And I was concerned for them. So I'd lift my head up. Uh, with this guy on my, on my back, and I was asking my wife to get, please get my glasses. So that's all I wanted. Did you tell this police officer that you were an important person? Absolutely not. Did you ever resist these police officers at all? In no way, shape, or form. I was totally cooperative. Were you maced? Yes, I was. Were you in handcuffs when you were maced? I was handcuffed behind my back when I was maced. Uh, prone on the ground. And I couldn't believe that they were going to arrest me. 
I said, you're not arresting me. It's like a question mark explanation. Okay. I didn't so say it was not, not a, it was not you have no right to arrest me. Okay. I was like, I couldn't believe they arrested me. Actually, you know, actually I'm very much disappointed, but I'm going to consult with uh, my lawyers about uh, my options. Certainly an appeal is uh, almost a certainty. Uh, it really doesn't change anything. Uh, I agree with some of the things the judge said. He found it incredible that I was uh, handcuffed and maced, and so did I. I found it incredible, too. Uh, I, he chose not to believe it. He found it so incredible that he couldn't believe it, but, but I was there, and a lot of other people were there, and some of you heard them testify. So I'm disappointed, but I certainly respect the system. I consulted with my lawyers regarding a, an appeal, which is in all probability going to happen, and, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll also explore what other legal opportunities and avenues that we have. Why so, not just pay a fine? It's $700 a new at this stage of the game, Anthony, uh, it's gone down the road too far, in my opinion. Uh, I know what the local daily newspaper in Jersey City was going to print, and uh, you know, I am going to, uh, I'm going to use all the, all the legal avenues that are open to me. I said this a year ago, and I stand here and I'll tell you the same thing now. Mayor, uh, uh, you know, judge decision is the judge decision. I said I was innocent a year ago. I still tell you that I'm going to uh, pursue the appeal. I'm going, to, I'm going to consult my lawyers regarding what other uh, options I have. Does this leave you feeling a little bit bitter towards the borough of Bradley Beach? Well, you know, I'll have to think about that for a while. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Do you think you've been treated fairly? I mean, it's the process. We went through the process. Do I think I was treated fairly a year ago by Terry Browning? Absolutely not. I think I was, I was abused and uh, totally mistreated. Thank you. 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 Th